I'm Paul from Apex Mindset. Today, we're gonna have a masterclass on the concept of frame. So frame is one of the most powerful concepts and ideas in psychology. What it basically is, is the idea of how you interpret the objective reality and what's out there. So to kind of give you an idea of this model, you have what happens in real life, objective reality, things happen. Let's say you watch a car crash happen, for example. You're watching the same thing that everybody else is seeing because it's objective, it's what's happening. You're interpreting it through your own subjective senses, experiences, ways of seeing the world. And this is why, for example, when they do police reports, an accident happens and they get witness statements, they'll often get different statements of that perspective of that event that happened. Not everybody sees the same thing. And this could even be down to the color of the car. They've done this experiment where they've had people watch on a screen a clip of a car accident or something like that. And then they would say, well, what was the color of the car? And some people might say the car was blue. Some people might say the car was green. Some might say red. They all know they watched an accident. They all know elements of that objective reality. Subjectively, they interpreted that event in their own specific way. How you interpret reality is your frame. So how you see the world is your frame. So through your subjective experiences and past experiences, what you have going on in your mind psychologically, your own emotions, your own beliefs. A lot of that stuff is influenced too by your upbringing, social conditioning. That awareness of the world is what your frame is. Now our senses are constantly bombarded by stimuli. And so frame is how we can neurologically interpret and pick apart all the stimuli. Your mind is only really capable of holding a few things in your conscious awareness. Your mind will have to fill in the blanks to tell the rest of the story a lot of times, especially when you're looking back at your memories. And so the way that your mind does this allows for your senses to try to focus on what's important, separate what's not important. In, in neurology, there's a whole lot of data and research done on how the brain does this. So it's simply how your brain works. You always have a frame. You have a personal frame of reference with everything that you're doing. Now the other aspect is that we are social animals. So we're designed to exist not just independently of other people in the world. We're all designed to work with and live and function with other people. So when we group up and function with other people, we have our own frame of reference and their frames then influence our frame. So it's like a communication and experiences happen where you have your frame, they have theirs, and then there's this intersection. So when two people come together, they each have their own separate frame and they begin to then influence each other. And so now the way that they're interpreting the world, their subjective experiences start to sort of mesh together and become one group experience, if you will. So let's say you have a bunch of friends together. One person has a unique idea that's different than the friend group. Those other friends might look at that idea and accept or reject or challenge. Their reaction to that idea starts to influence the individual who had the idea. And then another friend is influencing and so on and so forth. And this is why who you hang around with and who you keep near you is so important because even if you have a strong frame, those other people are going to influence you. You can't help it. You're going to be your own point of reference and the way you see the world is gonna be affected by these people that you keep close to you, especially. Hey, just jumping in to say thank you for subscribing and supporting the channel. Romantic relationships in 2023 are broken for most people. And that's largely because of how most of us have been conditioned to think about them. So make sure you hit that notification bell for when the next video drops, because by the end of this series, you won't think of your romantic relationships in the same way ever again. And don't forget to go through all the links in the show description for more life-changing stuff. Actually.
the closer you keep someone to you, the more important they become to you, the more influential they become on your own subjective frame of reference. If you have a bunch of friends and they're degenerates, <laughs> all right? Let's just take an example. Let's say they have a negative mindset when it comes to finance or money. And they tend to demonize people who have a lot of it. And that's their mindset when it comes to making money and being successful. And here you are trying to be successful, right? You wanna make some good money. Let's say you wanna start a business or excel in your career. And these people are, you know, showing up to a basic job every day, maybe can't hold a job that well and making minimal amounts of money and they're struggling all the time. And then the way that they believe and see the world and see their, their vocation, see how they make money, that stuff all then influences how you see the world. And even if you're trying to break out of that, that influence ends up affecting you. And it ends up being something you have to either constantly deflect against or you're not aware of the negative influence that they're having. And so it just starts to affect your perceptions, beliefs, and your behaviors. And this is why having a strong frame is so important, especially as a man, having confidence and being able to understand what your values and beliefs are and be unbending and unyielding to those beliefs and core values for anybody else. But as unbending and unyielding as you may be, if you surround yourself with people that you trust, know, and like, who are not in line with your values and their behaviors and their the things that they do is just not in line with who you are, unfortunately what happens is they start to affect you in a negative way and they start to pull you down. And so that's why group framework is something to pay attention to. Now this isn't all just about group frame, this is really more about relationship frame, but you have to understand these concepts and ideas from psychology to really understand why frame is so important. And this is not some new concept or a red pill concept, this has been well studied in psychology.